Joining us now, Democratic Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett, who represents the United States Virgin Islands and was an impeachment manager during Donald Trump's second impeachment. It's great to have you on the show this morning. Great to see you. Uh, I'm curious uh, your thoughts on the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago and where things stand right now, not getting ahead of things or a couple of folks that we've quoted who are looking at what might happen uh, in the future. But right now we have done Donald Trump admitting, not denying, that he has documents that don't belong to him. And he's trying to parse words. His team seems to be parsing words on this being some sort of misunderstanding, overdue library books, versus uh, what the FBI seems to see as a much bigger concern. Well, it is a bigger concern because we know that the president does not have the authority to take documents, any document, out of the White House and bring it to his personal home after leaving office. We uh, stopped that after Watergate and President Nixon with the Presidential Records Act. We also know that because he's taken uh, classified information, top secret information, that there may be other laws that have been broken with regard to this. But let's not forget, Mika, that uh, there are many fronts under which Donald Trump is finally coming to terms with his misdeeds, whether they be in Georgia with regard to the grand jury that is convened there to look at criminal charges, as well as in New York with Letitia James, the attorney general there, who is looking at civil charges related to uh, his business dealings. So the chickens have come home to roost uh, for Donald Trump, and I think we're going to see a confluence of the misdeeds that he has done to America finally coming to bear. And President Biden, uh, using the term MAGA Republicans, really taking the phrase that Donald Trump created for himself, we all remember the hats, um, and, and turning it somewhat against Republicans. Uh, are you seeing among your Republican counterparts any movement away from the former president? Well, uh, I think that privately you see individuals who are concerned about the rhetoric, uh, but many of them power at potentially uh, being marked by Donald Trump as unloyal to him and therefore are not moving away from it. We see it in the votes that they are taking. We have been taking votes that are really related to supporting the American people, and their votes are related to supporting Donald Trump supporting power and supporting politics over and over again. Uh, when we're voting on lowering the cost of prescription drugs, uh, to making communities more safe with gun control, uh, to doing addressing climate change, the Republicans are lockstep with Donald Trump each and every time. They're petrified of the man and of those individuals who follow him, uh, of those MAGA party people. I don't even know if we want to call it the Republican Party anymore, just maybe the MAGA party, because that's what they've all been subsumed by. Mm. Republicans who voted to impeach Donald Trump when you were um, impeachment manager, only two of them are still in looking like they're going to stay in Congress. Can I switch gears and look at the Democrats ahead of the midterms? There's obviously a lot of excitement in the Democratic Party, both in the Senate side, but also potentially even in the House side, with some surveys suggesting that the House is now in play again, that perhaps the Democrats could even hold on to the House. What do you think the most, and thinking of your constituents in the Virgin Islands, what's, what is the message that resonates most and what's the way you can galvanize voters to get to the polls the most ahead of the midterm elections if, you want, if Democrats want to try on and stay on in the House? What is, what is the thing you need to focus on? Well, listen, you know, September is important to us in the Virgin Islands. It's hurricane season. Yeah. Uh, this will be mm -hmm. five years since we were hit by Irma and Maria, Category 5 hurricanes that decimated and destroyed our island. And so we are concerned in the same way that other Americans are with climate change, with energy. We are concerned with the president as well as Congress. And I believe the Democratic Party has done this, is following uh, it up on their promises, making sure that they are one, holding the line on our democracy defensively, but at the same time bringing us forward so that we have an economy that can grow, that we can have wealth that we can pass down to our children, that we can have a home ownership at affordable costs. I think those are all things that Democrats are fighting for, for the people 
of America, while the Republicans showing a stark contrast with Republicans who are about power and about politics. Democratic Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett, thank you. Always good to see you. Thanks very so much for being on guys. this morning.